trick is this. Be aware, number one. Be aware of these dangers in yourself, in yourself, especially be, before they become the pattern, become the norm, and it's just kind of the way it is. Also, two attitudes to avoid regarding this. Number one, here's, you must not think this. Don't you think, well, hey, man, this is who I am. This is what you got. This is who you married. Um, deal with it. Right? Avoid that attitude in yourself because that's pride. Hey, I can't change. This is who I am. Avoid that. Consciously avoid that. Number two, the second extreme to avoid is, oh, I'm going to change. I promise I'm going to change. I'm going to work on changing. I'm not going to be that person anymore. I'll do everything I can to change, to change for you. That, 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 that. Don't do that either. That's not what you want to do. But you need to understand this. Christian, you need to understand this, that the Christian life, and here it is, is all about transformation, isn't it? If you're a Christian, you know that. You know that he's transformed you. You know that he's brought you from darkness to light. You're not that person you used to be before Christ. It is all about transformation. It's all about renewal. It's all about change. That's what the Christian life is. Yes. And here it is. You can change, right? You can change. But you can't try it on your own. That's the deal. That's the idea. That's the trick. You can change, but you can't do it on, on your own. You need to rely on the Holy Spirit, on the Lord, to let Him change you with the same transforming power that saved you. And you need to understand that the Holy Spirit is at work in you. So yes, you can change by His power and His strength as you look to Christ. That's the deal. That's the deal. And it's not changing your entire uh, personality, what you bring, those characteristics. That's not it. That's, that's not, like, I'm not that, you know, leader, guiding person. That's, you want to be that loving leader, strong, decisive, that man that she can count on, or that woman who's strong in the marriage and, and, and is there by you. Uh, yes, you want that. But you want to avoid the sinful twist on it. I say, you want to use your powers for good, right? <laughs> and that's, that's the idea here. Use what he's given you in a way that glorifies him and is helpful to others. And we do that by looking at Christ. So the idea is your focus doesn't, needs to be on Jesus Christ, right? Be keenly aware of these things in yourself because these are the things we don't want to face about us because this is who we are. This is a good thing about me. This is why you like me in the first place. Wait a minute. Lord, where am I going? 